Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to show you a few ways you can hide the torums uh, from the torum store. Uh, let me explain to you kind of a use case. So here I have a document library of procedures and I created a department column, but this is not a regular uh, choice column. Uh, it is actually a column that goes against the managed, you know, metadata, essentially the metadata that resides in the Torum store. So uh, here's the column. And just to show you kind of what it looks like uh, on the other side, uh, I'm obviously in the Torum store within the SharePoint Admin Center. This is the Torum set that I'm going against, all right? So essentially these are the values that my users are tagging against. Uh, so there are, there are three ways for you uh, to hide the terms, right? And uh, let me go over all three and provide you kind of the use cases for those. So the first option is obviously, um, you know, you just click three dots and delete, all right? In this case, the term is essentially gone. It's gone forever and it's just not available anymore. You would only use this option if you absolutely don't need this metadata, you know, uh, term to exist at all. All right, so maybe it was created an error and uh, you will never need it in the future. In this case, three dots and just delete it, all right? In some cases, you might want to hide uh, the term uh, maybe temporarily, all right? Uh, and for example, let me give you a use case here. Uh, I have this uh, department term set and I have uh, kind of the main label and the beauty about, of course, the term store is that you can create, uh, you know, sub labels. Uh, and that's exactly what I have under accounting. I have accounts payable and accounts receivable, all right? So two labels kind of underneath. Uh, let me go ahead and hide one of them. The option in this case, the option you might want to use is deprecate term, right? And essentially you get this little kind of um, icon next to the term. Let me show you what it looks like, um, uh, you know, once the users uh, try to tag it on the site. Let me, just in case, refresh my screen. Here we go. I'm going to try to tag this document. And obviously I choose the tags and uh, look at this. It's not visible, all right? It's not visible. Uh, essentially it's not available for selections. And if at any point I do want it back, uh, I have a, a chance to essentially go back. Let me do that and enable the term again, all right? Um, so that's kind of another use case uh, when you might want to deprecate, maybe a hide a term, you, you just use this particular you know, function. Uh, let me give you another uh, use case. Um, so uh, let me actually show you, it's better to, to show it here. So here we go, I want my users to choose a specific tag, but you know what? I don't want them to choose the accounting option. I want them to go against one of those, right? They either need to choose accounts payable or accounts receivable, not, you know, this top level option. So I don't want them, you know, I don't want them to select this at all. Obviously at the moment they can, but how do I prevent them from selecting it? Well, let me show you. In this case, you use the third option and um, you just click on the term and under usage setting, um, you, under available for tagging, you say, essentially you disable it, right? By default, obviously it's enabled. Uh, you uncheck the box, so it's no longer enable, available for tagging, it's disabled. Let me show you what the experience will be for the user. So in this case, again, I'm trying to tag my document, uh, a little eye in a circle, department, uh, the little tags, look at this. So this top, it still shows me the path, right? It still shows me the path, um, uh, you know, with this option, but it doesn't allow me to select it. So I'm forced, I'm forced to select one of those options. I cannot choose kind of the parent uh, label option. And this is the third option um, that you might, uh, you might uh, choose if you want to hide a particular term uh, and, you know, but have it still live in the term store, right? This is not a hard delete I showed you a little bit earlier. So these are the three options that are available. Again, um, you know, it depends on the use case, which one you choose. Uh, it depends on how uh, you would like to use, uh, you know, your tags. And hopefully you learned something new in this video. Uh, I hope to see you again on my, on my YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.